I call, no. but personally, I don't think it's definitely. I don't think it's ready. Yeah. Okay, let's just round off uh, the Super Eagles and, and uh, Serbia preview uh, with one more message uh, from Twitter. Uh, Muhammad uh, B. Ibrahim is saying, uh, Mikel should please show up because it's like Mex Messi mm. uh, in Argentina. Without him, uh, the team is incomplete. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Mohamed uh, Mikel is not going to be a part of this game. <laughs> and we're hoping he will be available for subsequent uh, pre-walk of friendlies. He will be. He will, he will be. play the best. You, you're so sure game. about that. I'm so sure about that. I'll be at Wembley. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. Okay. This, this talks will continue, yeah. guys, as we count down to the World Cup. But the important thing is, we need a good team to represent Nigeria. Absolutely. We, we, we do have Cup. a good team. Yeah. We do have a good team. You, you know, because, because everyone is trying to pick now. With the defense, um, Toby, I, I totally agree with you. Experience plays defense. And yeah. I think now we should know our constant four. Yeah. They should start thinking like brothers, like warriors, yeah, like hold hands, go to unit. war. Yeah, like it wouldn't touch it. Yeah. Back in the day, 1994, is Uchi Okechuku, um, uh, what's the other? Chidi Wanu, uh, Austin Aguavo, Benny Roa, sacrosanct. It's like that. And they hold us and they, they, they grow. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Different I eras, mean, right? Yeah. Well, we can continue yeah. this uh, conversation and uh, we're still going to be here after 10 o'clock. So let's move on. <laughs> uh, let's move on to our uh, other teams getting ready for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. That's right. And um, England, <sighs> um, that's another team. Uh, similar situation to Nigeria. Uh, if you look at the goalkeeping situation, uh, Joe Hart is supposed to be the number one. He's had a very, very rough time in the Premier League with West Ham. Doesn't get to feature. And there are a few young stars that are really, really decent. Jack Butland, uh, Austin, uh, the, the Everton lad, uh, Pickford, Pickford Jordan yeah. Pickford, yeah. is there as well too. But the manager, Southgate, is saying, um, basically, that these guys are still auditioning uh, for their places in the team. And you look at the World Cup, it's just uh, 70, 79 days away. Mm. Well, I think uh, talking about the English national team compared to the Nigerian one, I think there are two different cases. The English national team are in shambles, in my own opinion. Really? Yeah, because <laughs> shambles. Um, cause, That's very okay, harsh. Let, let's analyze our defense line only. Mm. You know, look at their four goalkeepers. You've mentioned three. There's yeah. Nick Pope from Burnley. Nick Pope. You know, that um, a good year for for Burnley <laughs> at the World Cup. Okay. Okay. Um, okay their defense on, line: yeah. Phil Jones, Smallin, uh, Phil Jagielka, John Stones. You know, Kyle Walker, um, Danny Rose, Leighton Baines. You know. Which names here particularly blow your mind at the World Cup, you know, mm. given the kind of quality of attackers that are coming to the World Cup? I think the English national team will be in big trouble when they get to the World Cup. And you can, you can write my words down. If they get out of the group stage, I'll be shocked. You know, it's only wow. the kind of defenders that they've got in their team and the goalkeeper as well. Because these goalkeepers are on the same level. I don't see anyone which is, who is astronomically better than the other. Mm. You know, so it even becomes more difficult for you to select which one you use. Even the defense line. Who are you going to play? Is this morning and Phil Jones? Is this morning and Stones? You know, Stones can't even get to start for Man City again. You know, and even Phil Jones and, and United is struggling to get a shirt if Ben is fit. So it's, it's a very difficult situation England find themselves. Wow. Look at Dan Rose at Tottenham. He couldn't get games last season. Mm. So who's going to play? Is it, is it um, yes, um, Bertrand? Yeah. They've, they've, they've Bertrand got options. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they've got really it, it, good options. You want to compare those guys? These, these names do particularly excite you. Yeah, but and it doesn't, you know, and but they are names. They're saying the same thing about Nigeria as well. So yeah. Nigeria is no, the, the Nigerian names, these are names that we are used to, at least in the last one, one or two years under Gennet Troll. Mm. But these are new names. Bertrand, we never used to be a regular at the English national team. But Danny Rose, because of the issues he's had, Lesson Baines, his age is about 33 now. You know, then Kyle Walker. Fantastic, uh -huh. but we're going to deputize for him, Kevin Trippier. You know, you know, you get to look at the kind of names that you're calling for this national uh, no team. Love, so man. So it's, 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 no love, it's, it's, no love. Okay, they have a test against Italy tonight. Big so, test. Um, big test. Big test. Um, is, is the friendly good enough for me? No, it's not because they played against um, Netherlands. They Netherlands couldn't make it to the World Cup. They're playing against Italy. Italy didn't make it to the World Cup. But the Netherlands so what just shocked Portugal yesterday. So, what is the test, really? You know, mm, it's play against test. Brazil, yeah. play against Germany. <laughs> You know, that is the test. We are playing against World Number no. 6 Poland. We are playing against Serbia. We are the World Cup as well. That's the test. Okay. Not playing against Netherlands okay. and, and Italy. Good. Italy Good. are done. So be kindly hold your thoughts there. It looks like you have a lot to say about this English yeah, uh, national team. But um, on your screen, selected uh, international friendlies are uh, slated. Uh, for today, you're going to have Belgium in action against Saudi Arabia. Russia, the whole star still getting ready. Didn't have to play qualifiers. Uh, they need a lot of these games. Uh, they play France. France are uh, on the back of that defeat uh, against uh, Colombia. You also have the Bosnian national team taking on Senegal. Senegal, we have to watch out for that side as well. Yeah. Taking on to represent um, Africa uh, in Russia. Germany, Brazil looks like the biggest uh, matchup 
of the night. It's a potential World Cup final. <laughs> and England, Ooh. Italy, that's the one we're talking about, and Toby is not having it mm. at all. Uh, but come on, the Italians are the Italians. Yeah. I mean, we know, okay, other fixtures, Morocco, Uzbekistan, as well as Spain, Spain Argentina. Argentina. That's what Toby yeah, was. That's that's what, what, yeah, this is a proper friendly, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't this play them all. And uh, they settled for Italy. Italy, we know uh, they're rebuilding, still, mm. uh, still don't have a permanent manager. Luigi Di Biagio is still in charge of the side, but it's still a very good side. We're very good players. So if England, you know, come out today and go on to give a decent performance, I, I believe I, I, I still Southgate... Be, I still won't be impressed. You still won't be impressed? Yeah, even against Nigeria, I won't be impressed because mm -hmm. they're playing against a team that is ranked 52 in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, when you can be playing against the likes of Brazil, Germany, teams that will give you well, a performance. that's the Nigerian okay. team that is also going to the world. Exactly. Cup, so. So I, I understand you, you but, but in my opinion, I feel the English national team are trying to be careful with their operation at the World Cup, yeah. going to the World Cup, you know, by looking for teams that they feel they can beat. Really? Netherlands, Italy, Nigeria. Who no, wouldn't you expect really? them to beat? Yeah. Uh, yeah, wow. but, but that's what the coach just said. That this team is still open. Mm. I think they're still auditioning. I'm still watching them. That's what I'm saying. That is the problem. You don't audition a few months to the World Cup. You should know your you squad. Be ready, and that's, right. what, that's what I'm happy about the Nigerian squad. That's what I'm happy about uh, the German squad. You know, Germany have about 13 players in their team that have been at the World Cup since the last World Cup in Brazil. You know, it just shows you that teams know what they're doing but this english national team side so they, harry came and not even featured at the world cup mm. yeah know? oh they're hoping it's gonna get fit and i totally understand where, places he, him? where he comes from who places harry kane harry kane no uh, well Jermaine they, Defoe, they, they, uh, uh, andy caro yeah vokes no these names don't particularly excite they don't like, and they don't inspire confidence i totally get where you're coming from but let's go and go on and take um uh gareth Southgate's uh a pre-match presser ahead of tonight's match against the azuris I don't think it's too late for anybody. It's obviously um, more difficult because um, there's a couple of guys that have been in squads, haven't had the chance to play for us. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll still be monitoring everybody between now and the end of the season because um, there's probably a squad of, I said the other day, 31, 32 players that will be in, in contention and um, none of us know what's going to happen over the next uh, eight to ten weeks. 